Hi, Dave Youngquist, Michigan Toy Soldier, and welcome to part five of painting the Red Baron with acrylics. Uh, today we're going to be working uh, on painting a very subtle five o'clock shadow. I'll show you a couple tricks and uh, techniques to uh, accomplish that. We're going to be painting the hair, eyebrows, and we're going to get a little bit of color into the cheeks. Let's get going. I've taken the liberty of base coating the hair with a Vallejo desert yellow color. It's a really great color for uh, a base coat for blonde hair. Mixing the shadow color for the hair, we're going to take just a bit of burn umber and quite a bit of the base color, which is that uh, golden color, and we want to keep this toward the gold. Just a subtle bit of that of the brown in there. And again, keep the mixture thin. I know I stress that, but it's important. Again, keeping it towards the yellow and we're darken it up just a bit and what we're doing here is just very fine streaks Since we're on this side of the face, we'll lay in the, uh, the eyebrow real quick. And let's add just a little bit more of that burnt umber, just for a little more contrast. And we'll keep a bit of this darker color up near the, uh, the hat or the cap. Add a highlight, we're going to use and Andrea Ochre mixed again with our base color and using the same painting motion we start adding our highlights finally just a bit more here a little bit lighter again so we end up with three or four different tones on the hair very natural looking okay let's paint the five o'clock shadow a red baron being an officer would be cleanly shaven uh, but we want to give a real subtle look of a, a beard. For the 5 o'clock shadow, we're going to mix our base flesh color with just a drop of blue. And this particular mixture, we're going to make th super thin. Uh, we want it to be really a translucent stain. Now the trick here is to apply this wash using a downward stroke so that the wash is actually pooling up underneath the chin. If you get a little extra just wipe, wipe it off. But if you keep this mixture coming down towards the chin area you're not going to get the horrible tide effect which would leave a ring of paint up in the hollows of the cheek. So as you can see just keep brushing it down and as the paint collects underneath the chin, just wipe it away. I'm going to apply a rosy red color to the cheeks. On a large scale figure, I quite often like to use a chalk pastel. Uh, the reason for that is we can achieve a really smooth transition from the highlights of the cheekbone to that 5 o'clock shadow down in the chin area. We use a rust red color. You just get a little bit on your brush. And again, the chalk pastels are available here at Michigan Toy Soldier. The reason I'm using a pastel instead of a pigment, you know, the pigments are very popular nowadays, is that the chalks are much more subtle. Pigments, frankly, are just too intense for the effect that we're trying to achieve. Using this rust colored piece of chalk, we're going to take an old brush and just wipe it across the top of it, knock off the excess. And then right in the hollows of the cheeks, we just want to add a little bit of this color. Again, you can always apply more, so just stipple it in, like you see I'm doing. A little bit up in the temple area. Blow it off. There we go. That's the face. Hope you've enjoyed it so far. Stay tuned for part six when we begin to paint the uniform and be sure to visit us at mishtoy.com.